preferred ownership is an opportunity to buy a part of a property and get on the property ladder and rent the other part. You would have to register to be eligible, so you'd have to register on Help to Buy Midlands to get a reference number. They would then tell you that you're eligible, but not necessarily for what type of property that might be. Uh, you have to then go via the Housing Association, who have different criteria, so you can buy anything from 25% to 75%. Um, you have to be financially approved, so it's all about affordability, getting you on the ladder. And then you would have to pay a £500 on for double deposit in order for you to then have your solicitors um, instructed. The benefits generally is that you can get yourself on the property ladder um, and the percentage that you happen to purchase at that time, will your, your growth will be in the house as well so you're not paying somebody else's mortgage. Um, it's all about affordability, so the percentage that you buy, you then can, as your circumstances change, buy more of the property to enable you to own 100% in the, uh, at the end of it, if you wish. You don't have to. You can stay at whatever percentage you've bought. Nobody's going to come along and say, you've got to buy more. You can just stay at 35%, 50%, whatever the percentage you bought at the time. Shared ownership, um, you'll get a fully equipped house with this scheme that we're, we're running at the moment. Um, all your kitchen appliances all built in, all flooring down, um, turf in the garden, garden shed, and even down to towel rails and toilet roll holders, which you ordinarily wouldn't get in any, new, any other brand new house. Um, first time buyers can purchase, and I think there's a myth that people say it's only for first time buyers, it's not. It can be for anybody across the board, no matter what age. So it could be somebody who is in quite a big house that they've lived in for some time, a local authority property, and have a lump sum of money but can't get a mortgage. They can also purchase um, a shared ownership, providing they have an income to pay the rest of the rent. The difference between shared ownership and help to buy is that on shared ownership, once you've bought your percentage of the property, you can stay at that amount without anybody insisting that you buy up or anything else. But on the help to buy government scheme, where it's 5% deposit, in five years you have to start paying interest on the 20%, or they would like to think that you'd staircased up by then and had your um, full mortgage on the 95%. The deposit you pay on both properties, 5% on the help to buy, shared ownership, it can be between 5 and 10% of the percentage that you're buying.